we made was on the network uh, library and our in our context as some of us of you might know that we work with the multiple robot system that need to, 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 to work together and there is networking in networks in between or we work with multiple handheld devices and they need to communicate and at some point in time we start working at higher level, level middleware and we, we were uh, using the default available uh, library we were using uh, Squeak and then Faro and uh, this uh, library are organized like this we have uh, the class at the image side of course it relies at functionalities at the VM and the VM level which are plugins for the VM have multiple pl plugins for various uh, features uh, are, and are uh, available to the image side as primitives and these plugins discuss with operating system and lower level features in our case the, uh, the, the socket plugin which is a networking uh, plugin actually which is a socket plugin discuss with the network IPA for, for uh, the operating system and <coughs> We had a some problem with networking and we start looking more details how, how it works and how it is uh, done and uh, we noticed that at the VM side the network in a plugin or some plugin is uh, mixes everything or gathers everything that is related to network and it is written in C so they, uh, it's a nice language but uh, it's not that small dealer that uh, uh, as much as we would like, so we have everything gathered in one one, one big uh, plugin, and it is written in a low-level language. Part of it is generated in the I mean, context of uh, Squeak and Faro, it is written in Slang and then converted to C. So we don't need to port it for for the platform. We need to uh, be uh, uh, to go to, to deal with these low-level details in a low-level language, so it makes things <coughs> maybe to, to port. Uh, the image style, things aren't that nice because uh, the library isn't well designed. We have uh, multiple features that are mixed together. We have the TCP and UDP and all that sort of that are mixed together. We have IPv4 and IPv6 that are mixed together and you have some sometimes some, some uh, strange uh, inheritance links like socket address inheritance from binary which is, looks uh, strange to me we even had a pre uh, another version there were even no socket address class they were, they were using directly the, the, the binary as uh, as uh, socket address which is uh, kind of not uh, very clean so it's dirty and uh, then it makes things heavy to use and uh, difficult to maintain and speaking about maintenance usually we need tests we use tests and there are uh, zero tests actually in far uh, 1.1 in big 4.1 Things are slowly improving from the far side at least. We have uh, now it's at 4% test coverage, which is still too, uh, uh, too little. So, at some point, we start, let's try to, re re uh, to improve things, but we had hard times, so we decided to <laughs> just do it away and start from scratch and, and try to think. Uh, uh, Problem to think, to think outside the, 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 the problem and uh, imagine new solution. So, in order to deal with portability, we, we decide to uh, decouple the features from the VM as much as possible. So, we, we decide to use directly from the image OS features and wrap these OS features as, as, as uh, classes and objects that we can use in an in a object-oriented fashion, so we want to have clean design and of course we want a reliable library uh, and uh, we want to, to, to have 
added methanol, so we want to provide as much test as possible, ideally 100% coverage. So this is the idea that we have our library, we call it uh, uh, Ocean Library, which is about the uh, acronym we found, we found NICE, the best it is NICE networking, and uh, it speaks to the operating system through uh, EPFI. So in our case, we use Alien uh, uh, Library. And at the VM side, we have the Alien plugin, and that allows us to access the right library as the operating system. And uh, this way, we wrap the operating system library features without changing the VM. So the idea is then we, we can throw away, we, we can forget the project for networking. And when we start thinking about the design, so we thought that inheritance is a good idea. We believe also that design patterns are, are good things to, uh, are useful. So we try to have inheritance in our hierarchy, for instance, we try to have uh, TCP sockets and coupled from UDP socket, which seems quite reasonable. Where we have hierarchy of uh, libraries corresponding to various <coughs> platforms and you are using the bridge design pattern to, to, make, to make the connection. So we develop depending on the operating system we, we plug on the right library. So this is the the, the direction where we are going, and of course we try to, to have uh, to test everything, and we work in a test-driven uh, development fashion. And the current status, we are we start working actually uh, in this by the, by the spring uh, in a not too we will not spend too much effort on it, but we are working in a regular basis with uh, with Luke to progress. Uh, like half a day or uh, every week or so. And now we have TCP sockets, which is quite working, and we, are, we work on, on, uh, on Macintosh, we have the Mac support, and we have features uh, almost tested, so almost 100%, actually, it's 70, <coughs> more, more like 70%, because we are, we are improving things, and we, our goal is to, to go up to 100%. And the test one way <coughs> we don't have a we didn't reach the hundred percent test yet, but all we are working on it is because writing test real test we want to have we want to have a test that really test uh, that really checks that there is data going to the network layer of the operating system. We don't we didn't want to uh, uh, to to emulate or to have stuff or uh, something that mimics or, uh, the network. We were able to check for, for everything that uh, what we have at the image side is an actual representation of what is happening at the operating system. And starting from scratch, and we could not consider the existing library as uh, reliable. We had to build our own tools. We have to figure out how to connect to, to the operating system to find out whether the socket is connected, whether we send uh, with uh, the data sent is uh, actually received and vice versa. So in the same image, for in, in, a, in a given a test, for instance, where we want to test sending data, in the same image we have, we, 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 launch, we launch a test, it starts server, it starts a client, and make a connection and check that everything goes correctly from one side to the other. And uh, <coughs> of course concurrency, here we face concurrency issue because we are not only working with threads at image level, but we are also dealing we need to deal with processes at system level, threads at, the, at, at the, the system levels and sometimes image just freeze and crash and we don't know what's what was going on. So we had we had hard time uh, sometimes we were desperate to have it work because we don't see anything and okay, uh, no no way to figure out, no way to get to the, the access to the debugger. So how we did this? 
So we start from scratch, and you want we start dealing with uh, the first test, if I remember correctly, where they were about uh, sending uh, data to the network. So we need to have a client, a reliable client. So we thought that that is a good idea to use some existing utilities like uh, Netcat. And uh, how to access these utilities? So we, we decided to access them through uh, another uh, another path, which is the uh, OS process, which gives access to the operating system and uh, and we mimics a shell at image level. So we send and to, to create, for instance, uh, a client. Uh, a command line to the shell, and the other side it has our socket, instance of our socket, and try to see okay if we send this data this way, we, do we get it to the, the other side? And uh, basically, this is this is this is the whole setting, and we, if we uh, so we will we use only these two plugins, and we think that this can be generalized to other. Uh, that can be derived to other approach. And <coughs> although we had a hard time uh, uh, doing all the tests, we succeed, we, we, are, we, are, we are continuing to advance. And uh, yesterday night, by midnight, we really had the send and the receive working, even for large amounts of data. And as uh, we could uh, compare our performance, the performance of uh, Ocean TCP sockets, compared to the existing sockets, we send in a quite large amount of data, 10 megabytes, and in both, both cases for sending and for receiving, we are about 10% better than the existing implementation. Okay, those are considered are as early evaluation because we need to complete our test, we want to go to 100% uh, coverage, but it's just kind of encouraging that we are on the on not, not too bad this uh, way. So to conclude, we uh, within uh, the, the Ocean project we want to have a portable uh, library for networking. We want a good design library with uh, good OOP. Using the OOP power, so we can do test patterns and uh, all the patterns, and we wanted to have, to have it tested. And we are pro in uh, the work is in progress, and we, we looks like we are uh, on the right path. There are still things to do. We want to, uh, of course, uh, finish the implementation of Ocean and. Uh, uh, Ported to various platforms, so I will work on a microphone right to uh, on Linux boxes, on Windows boxes. Uh, although the Linux port, we believe that it would be easier than what we experienced because we well, we, we try to use the, the POSIX library, so we imagine that uh, the connection would be much uh, the port would be uh, not too challenging and. Uh, and we had tests, so hopefully it will be okay. The next step would be to uh, to inject Ocean in, into Faro and clean, clean it up. Then we are thinking what is the right strategy to do it, how to uh, not to break all existing projects. Uh, so we want to keep some kind of compatibility for this one version to lead to lead to let developer of existing project and adapt their software to Ocean and then the next release to, uh, to switch to, to Ocean IP. The, the second uh, future work is about building on top of uh, Ocean some middleware. So we already experienced the remote smart work RST, but we will go back. Um, the old, uh, with the old sockets and uh, it, wa it wasn't really stable and uh, we, we, we believe it is a problem with, with the, the networking library so we hope that with Ocean it will work better. We also have experiment with the peer-to-peer 
clear stuff in between talks. There is Shen uh, who is here who tried to, to look at, at this and hopefully we will make advance at this, this level. But our uh, only broad, if we can say, is uh, generalizing the approach by removing all plugins from, from the VM. So we uh, we believe that uh, the VM should, <coughs> should be small, smaller than what is actually uh, how it is actually now. Uh, the approach presented by Richie this morning uh, is uh, really connected. We want to pull things from the VM and end up with the, the smallest uh, VM uh, as possible. Although what made Richie this morning is just
Could you explain again how you were using the OS process to help you test? Sorry? Could you explain again how you were using the OS process to help you test? Uh, um, yes. So, uh, there, we are maybe using in our test, we are using the Netcat uh, Net. Netcat. Netcat. And uh, it's in C, uh, the command line is in C. And uh, in the terminal, you just type in C and uh, the port number, and then it starts listening on, on uh, uh, starts listening on the server on that port. And uh, to set up a server, we we we, 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 we just type the string, the string and send it to OS process to the system as if you were on a terminal. And but we we wrap this terminal with uh, with a nice object that allows us to 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 send data to the STD in and, uh, and read data from the STD out and then we could uh, really see what's going on. Do you plan to support um, blocking reads too? Sorry? Do you plan to support blocking reads like for a real listen group? Uh, actually, it's blocking. It is? Actually, oh. <laughs> the current, the current, the, this is the, I spoke about the, the, the concurrency issue, which is a big issue because we are, we, we are using that we have a single system process, so whenever we start. Uh, receive it, it freezes everything, whatever you start sending, it freezes everything. And we have some ideas about how to, uh, because the, the problem is because currently the FFI doesn't support multiple uh, phrases. And we have some ideas about uh, how to uh, uh, to turn around basically based on some code generation. And that's, uh, it's funny because yesterday we were discussing about this with Luke and we ended up with simple doing that what you did is generate a library, load it, plug it, and then connect it to it. And basically this is what we can use to have multiple threads and then, then we can uh, have non-blocking. So far it's all blocking. I'm oh, sorry, can I have one very last question? I don't know if I already asked you, but maybe the OS provides asynchronous Function. So for OpenDirect, I have exactly the same problem because the functions that maybe does a query to the database are uh, synchronous. So I love to be complete VM in that, uh, doing that. But some database provide asynchronous, asynchronous uh, queries. So I talk to C and I say, okay, send this query. And I call the magic answer. And then I continue with all the rest of the image and every X time I say, okay, are you ready? Yeah. So maybe maybe the OS provide asynchronous. Yeah, so you have to run the 